Good morning, everyone. Big Box Dave here from Magic the Gathering Attitude. And it is early in the morning. How's everybody doing? Hey, uh, so this is a continuation from, uh, I think it was a couple weeks ago, in regards to uh, a box we bought from, a, uh, I, not me, that Mr. Guy bought from a flea market, from who bought it from a storage locker. So, there you go. There you have it. The guy who sold it to him bought it from a storage locker, and Guy bought it from him. So we're just going to dive right in and, and uh, continue on with this. Now, this is what we found before. We found a Chronicles, um, uh, Ivory Guardians, and the Shivan Zombie. Not, 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 nothing to talk about, but, but we've, uh, we found some good stuff in the past. So, and we're going to continue on with that. Shut the, uh, let's open it up like that. Here we go. Yeah, we were looking at some Tempest before, and um, a lot, of, a lot of Tempest. Uh, what else do we find in the other one? There you go. Is that uncommon? Um, oh, God. Can't even think of the name of the stuff. <laughs> Visions. Uh, portal. So we, we, we discovered a lot. So this is the first part we did over here. So that little marker. See this little... So that, that was my little tracker. My little bookmarker. You know, get some old comic out right here. So... And uh, the majority of it looked uh, mostly like bulk. So we're hoping to find some some things other than bulk. And uh, we'll continue until we find some good stuff. So let me go get some of that. So, so, ooh, we got some ice age there. Rally. Rally, yeah, that might be something. I don't think it is. It's not, there's not a lot of value in ice age. We all know this. Kitty and mask. Not bad. Then start in 1999. You know, these all look like, uh, was that 97? Yeah, 97. So this is 5th edition. So, I mean, you, you got, it's just, it's a mishmod. That is 100% revised. Death board. It is a common though. So it's it's probably not worth uh, the hair on my butt. <laughs> but, uh, you know, check it out. Let's check it out. I'll look at that stuff at the end. All the stuff that I pull off to the side. And if you guys see something that I may have missed, please hit me up in the comments. So uh, it's something that I just I just like to do. And, you know, uh, and again, this isn't mine. Um, I'm sure Mr. Guy would not have a problem. This original Innistrad would not have a, a problem uh, parting with some of this or Saga. Um. To help you guys out in some of your collections, but that again, I can't make that choice for him. So but that's what I normally do with mine. I do have a couple shoe boxes like this uh, filled up um, myself that I have to go through. But I, I'm doing Mister Guys for us. That is an uncommon. Is that humble? Yeah. Where's the saga? That is revised. That's nice though. Guardian Angel. It's not bad. I think Guardian Angel might be uncommon. So, so, ooh, here we go. Some fallen umpires there. Yeah, some onslaught. Yeah, got some nice old sets in here. Doesn't mean they're worth a damn, but you know they could be. They could be. So we'll check that stuff out. We got por uh, not portal. Um, da -da -da. Yeah, that set. Um, <laughs> here's a tempest. There we go. Tempest is always welcome up from here. There we go. Clear. All right. Some alliances. Not bad. Not bad. Cadian mask. I usually do the first few stacks a little slow, and then I, and I speed it up as I go along. But but again, most of this looks like bulk. It does. Just just from my my eyesight. So uh, I'm gonna pause this real quick and look some of this stuff up. Stand by, guys. And we're back. Okay, yeah, uh, total bunk there. So, there's actually something I wanted to show you guys. Uh, some stuff I ordered a little while back. It just kind of got back to me now. So, let's, uh, let's open this up together. So, I ordered these from eBay, I believe it was. And I paid $93 a box. I got a good deal on this. And I got, so I bought two of them. So, because I do think this set is going to go up a little bit in the near future. Not not too greatly, but up to like $110 a box. Thereabouts. 
And they're sitting in about a hundred dollars a box right now. Siri, oh, oh hold on guys, gotta pull a stick out. I don't want you to see my, my, where I live. Y'all coming to my house. I pull out my M4. And, I mean, uh, yeah. So I got two boxes of... Da -da -da. Jump spot. Okay. Two boxes. Check this shit out. Right there. So, I will be opening one of those at one point. So, yeah, for sure, for damn sure. But I uh, got a great deal on it. Uh, it was $93 for each of them. And then I found a, a better deal. And I ended up paying $90 for these each. So, Dad, it did good. I thought I did. I thought I did great with the ninety-three dollar one. To, to be honest, but I just I don't want to poke it this up top. Yeah, there we go. It's like trying to hunt a landmine. Yep. Okay, it's a bubble shit. There it is. Okay, and then there is another box of jump start. So my third box. There it is right there. Okay. And I got this for 90 as well. It's a Caldeum set booster. So Caldeum right now is probably the best normal set that came out of 2021. You know, but it really wasn't. 2021 wasn't that good. Let's, let's face it. But I think Caldeum's going to age well. So, and especially with some of the list cards. So, the, so there you have it. Anyway, moving on. I thought I'd share that with you. Opening up some uh, some box and a box and shit. So I will tuck those away as per the norm, and open some of those, of course, as per the norm. So probably a lot of that going to you guys too, as per the norm. <laughs> okay, so we get some Innistrad. Uncommon Innistrad. Ooh, that's revised. Divine Transformation. I think it's uncommon. So, ooh, we get a Visions card. Look at that. I like that. I've seen a little bit of Visions in there. We'll check those prices out. Dominaria, M19. Kamigawa. All that good stuff, 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 stuff. So, we got 5th. Uh, fifth, yep, 5th fifth edition. 5th edition crap. Uh, Alright, here we go. Yeah, oh, we got some Ice Age. Uh, yeah, Kajeldin guard, guard, not worth much. Even I know that. Uh, heal. Heal is not worth much. Okay, Weather Light. Let's see here. Hmm, that's a 1 1 for 1. But he's an ability. 1 colorless and 1 white. Tap. Target blocked creature deals no combat damage this turn. That might be something. We'll check that out. We'll have to check that one out. Ooh, we get some uncommon on slot. Start at 99. That is a. Is that? Hmm. I think it just it looked like a thick border for a second. That's the first thing I need to check. The color's a little I'm gonna put it out to the side. I don't know if it's an unlimited one. It looks more revised, but I'll check that here in a minute. So that's definitely revised. So it's probably re it's probably revised. Still though, good to check. Good to check. So oh wait, let's see. We got some. And do we have another color coming up here other than white? I mean, not that old white is bad. So it's, it's actually worse than new white. New white's come a long way, if you ask me. So they they've done uh, done very well. Ooh, Valiant Knight from, from M nineteen. Might be worth something. Though. Might be worth a little something. <laughs> the guy who put this in this box. Damn it! I missed a rare. <laughs> oh my god. Oh hey, and congratulations to all Cincinnati Bengal fans. Um, and I really mean that. Uh, I am a huge, huge football fan. And the Bengals have been. I, I remember in 1990 
was the last time the Bengals had won a playoff game and actually were actually eventually in the Super Bowl that year. And they gave San Francisco the biggest run for their money in that game. That was a great game to watch. I remember I was I was about 14 years old when I saw that. No old jokes, please. But uh, it's nice to see the underdog get in there. And I'll tell you what, that team it is, when I look at it, it's pretty goddamn stacked. They're, they're a talented young team, and I'm just I'm very happy for the Cincinnati fans. I really am, because, you know, being a Patriots fan, like, everybody's like, oh, you're a New England Patriots fan. Like, you know, they're a champion team. I'm like, yeah, but you don't remember the Patriots before that. <laughs> so, Drew Bledsoe was like a blessing to have, and, and we had nothing before that. So, we had one Super Bowl trip prior to that, and one with Bledsoe, and we, we lost miserably in both. And then, you know, and then we went on, you know, like a 20-year tear, you know, just just terrorizing the league, you know, or to always be in there. But that's gone. That's gone now. It ebbs and flows. We never had that. So with Cincinnati never really having that, the, all the fans there, man, I'll tell you what, I'm so happy for you guys. I really am because I, cause I understand. I, I, I do. I understand. I remember, I remember those old days, the days of just... Just like, oh my god, the disappointment after the disappointment. Uh, year after year, that was revised, by the way. And then finally making it. So you have a very talented young team there, and I'm very happy for you all. Truly I am. And uh, good luck to Cincinnati. And no offense to the Rams. The Rams are like, oh, it's the LA Rams now. It used to be the St. Louis Rams. Hey, it's still the freaking Rams. Sorry. They're a great team, too. They have a great... It's, this is going to be a good Super Bowl. It's... You're going to see a lot of scoring in the Super Bowl, for damn sure. So, but uh, my heart goes to the Bengals, and my heart definitely goes to the Bengals fans. So, congratulations, good luck. Hopefully they uh, hopefully they win. All right, uh, pause for the cause. I'm just going to clean this stuff up and get some prices. And we're back. Okay, uh, yeah, nothing really in there. Divine Transformation was the only uncommon, but uh, it ain't worth junk. Unless it's a Legends card. Legends card's like 30 bucks. All right, so we'll go with this last stack here, then we'll move on to the top here. So, I mean, this stuff, again, looks a lot, uh, very bulky. So I will uh, kind of go through it kind of quick. There we go. Just want to make sure the camera angle's good, so you guys can see everything. I won't go too, too quick, though, because I, I do, you guys do like the speed that I go through. I get a lot of, like, actually positive feedback on that. Ooh, okay. All right. <laughs> You get some Mirage here, and you got some uh, multicolor Mirage. It could be bulk. It could be <laughs> Jungle Troll. Ah! So, Pearl the Unicorn. I'm trying to see if that's unlimited. It doesn't look like it. No. Okay. And here we go. Camera's looking good today. I actually did uh, bring it in a little bit. The uh, Check that one out again. Uh, I uh, the focus in. I brought it in just 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 a hair, just a hair, just a, a happy little hair. <laughs> Do I have like a Bob Ross type voice? No, Dave. You have a you have a voice that, that like is like nails on a chalkboard. And by the way, you're from Massachusetts, kid. Say car, car. No, no. Say car like you are from Mass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> barn, ban, it's a ban. <laughs> I get a million of them. I do have a funny, uh, I do have a funny basic training story. So uh, when I went to boot camp, I was 25 years old, and uh, I had a college degree, and I had been in the workforce for three years prior to doing that. You know, I was, full, I was a full time uh, worker. So, needless to say, I was mature. Uh, if it, you know. As far as army infantry standards go, but anyway, so what they would do is they put me in charge a lot, and uh, they put me in charge from day one. And when things were great, they they'd fire me and put somebody else in charge because they want somebody else to have a leadership, you know, chance. And then when it got effed up again, they fire him and throw me back in charge. That might be something. That might be something. Uh, that also might be something too. Anyway. Um, so, 
But my uh, my my drill sergeants, they they love my accent. It, it used to be really, like my accent's more tapered now from having you know living in the south for for many years. That isn't uncommon. I used to have that card. Um, and I so every I'll, every once in a while I will pronounce my R's. I won't sound to, I'll sound like out of sorts up here. And uh, anyway, so we're uh, we're, mar we're we're marching to, to to lunch to chow, and uh, my senior drill instructor, who's literally like six foot ten, and he, he like he when he puts his cap on, he's like over seven feet. His drill is, is, is smoky. And he used to talk like this, right? And like literally, and it wasn't made up. That's how we talked. And uh, he uh, he said he pointed to what most of the world calls a water fountain, which is something you drink water out of. In the New England area, it's called a bubbler. But my accent would call it a bubbler. All right. So and he knew this too, and he he used to like hear me. You know, he used to bust my chops every day. You know, a hey, packed car in the Harvard Yard. You know, it's, uh, parked the car in the Harvard Yard, right, Solari? Yes, drill sergeant. You know, and like, you, and you really can't fight with them. You know, you you, you, you gotta lose. So anyway, um, so he's he's marching us over there. Basically, I'm marching him over there, but he's behind us, and I halted the platoon, and uh, he points to the the fountain, and uh, they used to call us dicks. Hey, Dick. Uh, dedicated infantry combat killers. Oh, we got a little, some little different flavor here. And uh, he's like, "Hey, Dick, what's that?" And he he points to the the water fountain. I go, "It's a bubble, a drill sergeant." And that was the other thing too, drill sergeant. You know, and, and he goes, a "What?" I go, "A bubble, a drill sergeant." He goes, "No, it's a water fountain, Dick." I'm like, "Yes, drill sergeant." And so. As luck would have it, I had a coin in my pocket. It was a quarter. And I, I grabbed it out of my pocket. And my, and my drills loved me. I never, like, gave any lip back or anything like that. And I, I flung it towards the, uh, I, I flipped it towards the, the bubbler. He goes, what are you doing, dick? I go, it's a water fountain drill, Sergeant. I'm making a wish. He goes, what'd you wish for? I go, I wish I wasn't here. And he's like, do push-ups. And it was so fast the way he said do push-ups. So at the end of that cycle, when we when we completed basic training, and I'm getting ready to go to airborne school. He pulled me aside and he goes, "It took me everything in my power not to laugh at that <laughs> at that comment. That was very very quick of you to say that." And uh, yeah, so there you have it. Uh, that's that's my that's one of my basic training stories. So uh, where I almost got jammed up. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just I'm just fixing this as we're going along. So organizing the colors, if you will, and uh, it was actually it was actually falling from my hand. So, but for the most part, like I was I was Johnny on the spot. You know, it, it's it, listen, base training is not that that difficult. Be on time when they tell you and have all your shit that you need. It's not that hard. They're gonna pay you to work out. Yay! You know, like oh my god, imagine that lifestyle. Hold on for one second. I'm going to just get a, a quick price on this stuff. We'll be right back. And we're back. Okay. So, I have all four of these sleeved up, even though uh, they're not worth it. Oh, Brock Basilisk it is a rare. Uh, it's it's, a, it's like a buck fifty. Uh, and it's the only rare out of these. And then you have Wind Reaper Falcon, Harbor Guardian, and Jungle Troll. Now, I, know, I atypically won't sleeve these things up, but these are these are all reserved with, with reserveless cards. There's only one printed of each. So there you have it. So yes, you know, in in the, in the other ones were only worth like, a, not not even a quarter. So, um, I'm am gonna just tuck this just so you guys can see me, tuck this stuff back in, Joe, so, just so it's filled back up. I'm gonna take our little sleevey sleevey out, and pause real quick, and we're back. Sorry about that. So. So I want to get into the stuff over here. I'm just going to do one last pile, and we're going to call it a day. Because I, I don't, I, I try to keep these under 20 minutes. Uh, now I do. Like the first ones were like an hour long, and they, and they were exhausted because I was like, oh my god, because I was actually finding some stuff. So this one seems like again a little bulky. Okay, Mirage. Ooh, smoke from uh, revised. 
Or no, I'm sorry. Is that 4th edition? That is 4th edition. I take that back. Still, though, that's pretty cool. And I think I think Reign of Chaos is not that bad. I like that we get into some red. Let me some red. Searing touch. Oh, okay. We get some 8th edition. Uh, look at that. 8th edition. There we go. 8th edition common. That's Portal. Raging Goblin. That might be a little something. That might be a little something. Probably not much, but it might be a little something. So, I, I remember that card. I feel like an old... I, I was a revised and Ice Age player. I'm like, Portal? Oh, God, a Raging Goblin. Oh, I'm such an old school player. Now I'm like, like I might as well have a white beard and shit, you know? Uh, Alright. That says, what's that, uh, Battle for Zendikar? I want to say. DFZ. Uh, could be wrong. And that is revised, Fire Breathing. See that? Yeah, Earth Elemental, revised. Hey, hey, Goblin Snowman. I used to love this. What a cute card. I'm actually going to push it off to the side. I'm going to steal that one from a guy. It's just a cute card. It's not worth that much. But Arms Dealer. Alright. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. I'm just going to put this stuff down. I like that we're moving on from white. It just geez, it changes the landscape of everything. No, white! Alright. Alright. There we go. Some OG Innistrad artifacts. It just looks like artifacts, period. So, you hit me up if you guys see something that I missed there. Artifacts, you might have something. Sure. Oh, man, the back is stiff today. It is cold out. Alright, let's see. Yeah, we're at the end of it. Alrighty. Hmm. Stand by, I'm just gonna get a price check on this stuff. And we're back. Okay, I thought this was something. Smoke from uh fourth edition. So uh you can see right there, nineteen ninety five. Okay. It's almost four bucks. It's almost four bucks, but I think the list medium price is, is uh it, it's closer to five. So smoke is decent. So I actually hard sleeve this. Five dollars or more. I'm stealing the snowman. It is uncommon. It's it's only twenty three cents, but in this condition, you know. So I I, I will give this to a uh, one of my subs. <laughs> I just I love that. I just think it's the cutest card, man. You know. You ever see that? You ever see the art? Like look, really look at that. Just read what it does real quick. So. It's just, it's just funny. It's just, it's a stupid card, but it's the art and the work on there is priceless. So, and we got some reserve list cards, and that was about it. Not much, not much out of this uh, box. I'm really kind of disappointed. Plus, what we have over here still, you know, we got a chronicle. Oh, yep, we got a chronicles. I have a guard, a guardian, and Shivan Zombie. That was originally sleeved in there, so we just leave that stuff in there. That's it. That's it. All right, guys. Listen. Um, until next time. Uh, much love to you all. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, we'll check out the rest of this box. I'm just going to tuck this stuff away, and uh, we'll get going. This box is kind of bunky, but you know what? We're making our way through it. Much love, all. See ya.